fish until you find the sunken scuba suit. First, let's make sure our denominators are equal. So 5 times 2 equals 10. So we need to multiply 2 over 5 times 2 over 2. And we get 2 times 2 equals 4. 5 times 2 equals 10. So now we're comparing 4 over 10 and 5 over 10. We know that 4 is less than 5. Remember, our denominators are the same here, so we can only look at our numerators. 4 is less than 5, so that means 2 over 5 is less than 5 over 10. But we can't find this answer until we change our denominators to be equal. So the correct answer is A, less than. Great! Let's solve the problem below, and we'll start with 2 times 6 plus 0. We know that 2 times 6 is 12, 12 plus 0 is still 12, so our first answer is 12. But how does this relate to 12 divided by 2? Well, let's do the division to see if we can figure out the relationship. How many times does 2 go into 12? 2 can go into 12 6 times because 2 times 6 is 12. If you subtract these, you're left with a remainder of 0. And we know that we're done because there are no numbers after 12 to break down. So our quotient is 6 and our remainder is 0. How does this relate to our multiplication and addition problem? Well, we wanted to know how many times does 2 go into 12. And to figure this out, we needed to know what 2 times 6 equals. And that equals 12. Because we were already at our answer of 12, we didn't need to add any more numbers to 2 times 6 to get it up to 12. Instead, our remainder was 0. So as you can see, our multiplication and addition problem were the steps that we needed to figure out our division problem. Nice! Good job!
Amazing! What is 9 times 3? So let's go ahead and look at, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 smiley faces, but we need to multiply by 3. So this is why we have 1, 2, and 3 groups of 9 smiley faces. If we counted these all together, we would get 27. So let's go ahead and double check. 9 times 3 equals 27. Monsterific! Super! Way to go! I like it! Keep it up! is two times zero. So we have two buckets here. Here's one bucket and two buckets. But we actually have nothing in our buckets because we're multiplying by zero. So zero plus zero equals zero. So two times zero equals zero. Remember, anytime we multiply by zero, the answer is always zero. You're awesome! You found the scuba suit! Let's go diving!
This level is part of Adapted Mind Super Skills. All right, Julius, time to read Rolfie's essay about the history of superheroes in Monsterville. Let's take a look here and... Uh... <gasps> this is so hard! What if I make you pet pancakes instead, huh? <clears throat> oh, right. I already did. Twice! How about a third round? Woo-hoo! <laughs> Oh no, Julius! I'm procrastinating! I see you are unfamiliar with this foe. Fear not! Explaining it to you is the perfect way to procrastinate more. Will you help me explain to Julius? What is procrastination? Staying focused and getting your work done. Putting off what you should be doing. I'm not sure. Putting off what you should be doing. Exactly! Procrastination is when you should focus on something, but you choose to do something else, even though you'll regret it later. Oh, buddy. Oh. Wait! I think we need to create... What did Ralphie call it? A focus tool! Ha-ha! The Procrastination Liberation! Ready? Most of us procrastinate at least a little bit. Do you procrastinate? How often? Every few minutes during homework? Every day before starting homework? Never. every day before starting homework. Getting started can be tough. This tool will help. Scientists studying the brain have learned that we don't procrastinate because we are lazy or lack self-control. We procrastinate if our brain has created negative thoughts and feelings about a task. You see, our brains are designed to avoid things that make us feel bad. We avoid our task because we're just trying to make ourselves feel better. Makes sense to avoid something scary, like a saber-toothed pen. But reading, homework, and chores are not ferocious fanged beasts. So why do we run away from them? If we understand our thoughts and feelings, we can outsmart procrastination. What's something in your life that you're putting off? Talk or think about something in your life you're procrastinating on. Take as long as you need, and when you're ready, click Next. Got a task in mind? Great! The Procrastination Liberation has four R's. Relax, reflect, rethink, and recommit. If you find yourself procrastinating, remember not to give yourself a hard time. Scientists found that when we forgive ourselves for procrastinating, we procrastinate less in the future. So, let's do the first R. Relax. Take a big, deep breath. <sighs> Repeat after me. It's okay that I procrastinated. It happens to everyone. 
and I completely forgive myself for doing it. Feels interesting, right? Now that I'm relaxed, I've got to understand why reading this essay makes me want to run away. So, let's do the second R. Reflect. When you think of your task, how does it make you feel? Frustrated because I don't know how to do it. Worried others will think I'm not good enough. Annoyed because I think it will be boring. Annoyed, because I think it will be boring. I completely understand, but, um, why do you think you feel that way? Talk or think about why your task might be causing you to feel frustrated, worried, annoyed, or anything else. I think I feel worried. Why am I worried? I guess because reading about how awesome other superheroes are might make me feel like I'm not good enough. Jeez, that thought makes me feel crummy. No wonder I wanted to run away from Rolfie's essay. Look, it's okay to have negative feelings. Once we recognize and accept them, we can do the third R, rethink. What's something positive, fun, or good that will happen if you finish your task. If I'm annoyed I have to take out the trash, I could think about how happy it would make someone. <laughs> so, even if reading about other superheroes makes me worried I'm not good enough, I can use it to learn how to be better. Now we can do the last R, recommit. Using the task you thought of earlier and the good thing that will happen when you finish it, repeat after me. I recommit to doing because if I do, I recommit to reading this essay because if I do. I can learn to be a better superhero. The important thing is to change your negative thoughts about your task to positive ones. Remember, relax, reflect, rethink, and recommit. No, oh, no, Julius, I will not make you another pet pancake, okay? Procrastination liberation! until you find the sunken scuba suit.